For the 45th straight August, Rich Mosca is working with young men for the upcoming football season. The Monmouth Regional head coach's passion for football is obvious, and his young Falcons are well aware that they're getting wisdom not only on the field, but life lessons as well. Coach Mosca has, I mean, more knowledge than, you know, we can even understand, and sometimes it's even hard to understand him sometimes, but we uh, feed off of his uh, knowledge and work to do what he envisions to the best of our ability. It, football is just something that I have about it, and I just want to give my best. And I just want to see kids succeed and learn how to compete because I want them better in their life. And that's what uh, that drives me. Because a guy helped me once, and I promised I was going to help others. So this is what I've been doing since 1970. The Falcons need to replace three players who have moved on to college football, including the Shore Conference's leading wide receiver, Isaiah Seawright, who's now at Fordham, and quarterback Jimmy Green, who's at Montclair State. Justin Trapp was the third wide receiver option in the 2014 offense and proved that he can be a playmaker. This catch against Pinelands won Shore Sports Zone's clutch play of the year. Trapp is ready to step in and be the top option through the air. It's nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, I played a lot throughout last year, and all I gotta do is just step up and make big plays again. 11 starters return, and Coach Mosca feels that the line play has taken a step forward. The Falcons have a rugged schedule with two state champions in Matawan and Rumson Fairhaven, as well as a Halloween home date against powerful St. John Vianney. This is always in high school football, no matter what school it is. We, we have some seniors that have played well, and now you need to really develop that depth. And at this point right now, we're hoping that we have some new kids that come up and do well. I'm very excited. Uh... I expect to win a lot of games, a lot more than last year, and keep winning. We don't expect to be uh, preseason favorites at all, but we're working in silence and doing the best of our ability to shock the shore. For more Jersey Shore sports, log on to shoresportzone.com.